This video shows the easiest way to simplify a complex spreadsheet. So this is typically one that has functions or formulas. And this trick would actually work with any spreadsheet you had that was overly complex. But the reason I mentioned functions is very specific. Um, and I'll show you that in just a minute. You'll see why that matters. So first, I just created a generic spreadsheet. And I'm pretending that I'm doing planning for two years of financials. So I have like January year one here, January year two here. I have my cost of living and many of these, these are pretty basic. Um, I threw in some increases for year two. I just put in some simple little formulas um, for small little price increases. So you see these, some of these, I actually have like little percentages going up every single month. These could be anything you wanted them to be. The idea is just that you could see where you had something that was set up with lots of columns. So let's say you're trying to present it to your partner. Okay, let's make a plan and you hand them this you're probably going to see their eyes glaze over because they're going to say, what? You want me to do what? <laughs> it's a lot of content. But the thing is, is Excel is fantastic at handling lots of data. It's fantastic at formatting it in a way that makes sense and that you can find patterns and that you can make progress. So it is a great tool. But once you put all your data in, sometimes it can be overwhelming for people. So in this instance, I have some little things broken out that you would have as expenses, right? Living, food, insurance, utilities. Then I have some things that aren't necessarily required to live, but that are probably expenses almost everybody has. So donations and gifts, and then trying to put money into savings, different things like this. So these could be anything. I just tried to come up with some simple things that were not necessarily required, although, you know, we have these every day, right? So then I have a subtotal of all my necessities. So that's adding up the things that I've considered absolutely necessary for living. Then I have my miscellaneous expenses, and then I have all those combined. So each of these has formulas in them, and then I have a monthly budget, and I've said, okay, I make 80,000 a year, divide that by the 12 months it takes to get paid, and then subtract my expenses, and it sort of gives me my monthly budget. And then as you'll see, this changes, this monthly budget changes and it goes down because unless I get a raise, which I didn't put one in here, um, everything else has gone up. So now I have less to work with by the end of the month, right? A couple hundred dollars. Then another um, column I have here is an annual budget. So I've said my annual um, salary is 80000 and then just subtract what my expenses are for the month. So this is what I'm going to start with. So the idea behind this is that you have so much information in here that if you try to present it to somebody, you print it, you know, if I try to print this, it's going to be it's not going to fit all on one page and it's going to be overwhelming for somebody. However, if I delete something, so say I just, um, let me just say I decided to take out gifts. We're not going to buy anybody anything this year. So I delete this. Now look what just happened. All of my references um, that had all my cells that had functions and formulas just broke. This is why I said in the beginning that this is an example of what to do with complex spreadsheets that have functions or formulas. Because if these were just any kind of number and there was no calculations, it wouldn't matter that I just deleted that set, that row, and it, or column. Excuse me, it could be rows or columns, right? So. Because I have formulas that are being calculated over here, as soon as you delete something that's being referred to in a formula or a function, it automatically breaks. Because Excel basically says, I don't know what to do with that. You're asking me to compute something that I no longer have access to, and I don't know what to do. So I'm going to undo deleting that. So we're back to where we were. So the easy way to do this, to make this presentable to somebody, is just hide some columns or rows. It's real easy. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to say hide. So I'm actually going to hide all my living expenses. And that was only four. And then you'll see all my necessity stuff is still here. This did not break nor did anything else. So if you wanted you could get rid of some of these too. You could hide these. Uh, oops got to click. Sorry, it is, I should mention that. It's important that you click all the way up here or all the way out here um, on the numbers and or the letters. You can't, if you do that here, you're, um, sorry, just here, you're not going to get that. You have to actually be all the way up here. So there we go. So now this is so much easier to look at. And actually you might even hide these as well. Let's just say. Um, you could start here if you were just trying to give somebody an idea of what you're talking about. Now if I go to file and print, Let's add our grid lines, page layout. There we go. Now, if I go back to print, see how much easier this is to look at? 
This is such a better example of what you're trying to get across. You can just say, look, here's our necessities per month. Here's what our monthly budget is after that. And then here's like if we started for the year and we were subtracting down, here's how much we would have left for the rest of the year, right? So maybe you're trying to plan for savings or a vacation or whatever it may be. doesn't really matter. The idea is this would work with anything. Mainly, the most important thing is, is that hiding rows and columns um, allows you to... Um, show a lot of things without having everything showing at once. So it doesn't break any of your references. So that's the really nice thing is formulas and functions are not affected when you hide a column or a row. And that's because the data is still there, it's just not in your view. So it's important to remember that you don't want to necessarily use hide to just send something out to somebody and assume that they won't know that the data is there and can access it because that's not the case. This is more for making it easier to present something to somebody, or if you wanted to present something to somebody with minimal details, then what I would do from here is I would do a file save as a PDF, and I would change it to, where's PDF? Here we go. And then once I saved it to a PDF, let's see, I'll open it, um, you would see this. And so now with a PDF, that data is not hidden, and they would be able to just see what you presented to them. Unlike Excel, where all they would have to do is come up here and do like I was just doing, right clicking and saying unhide. So that's the easy way to do that is using hide columns and hopefully you find that helpful.